Greetings, fellow defenders of the Isle, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle. Episode 11, Lazy Nights. I know they don't have Earth Sprites rocking right now, but I think I'd rather just have um, Thomas have full mana regen so that he can use Stone Skin, Earth Hammer, and Sentinel. Especially given the, um, the wounds and disabilities that we have right now. So this here, this low stockpile should not allow Tainted as that is causing garbage to be pulled in. Getting a lot of gemstones as a result of getting rid of the old, um... Oh, look, look at our gemstone stuff, pal. Oh, melting down everyone's jewelry. Alright, that should be enough slate for the pews. But it's already very impressive, and it doesn't even have flattened floors, and it's already pretty dirty. So, it's gonna look nice quickly, I think. Plate armor is done. Uh, what to research next? So there's a lot of other research for armor in here if we want to use something other than Uruk Half Plate. So the issue with the Uruk Half Plate is like, it will look appropriate on shield because shield is an Uruk Eye, but uh, it doesn't have like amazing sharp or blunt stats. Um... Whereas, obviously, like, Guild of Full Plate has much higher stats. A lot of these other armors do, especially the Heraldric stuff. Uh, so we can have them look like an Orakai or just be well-armored. And, and at some point, when you guys vote for me to craft arms and armor, I'll pull about that kind of stuff. Uh, so there's still more armor research to do, uh, but mo mostly only in the case that we want non orc looking stuff. That, or if you research armor, I could also do armor for, um, for mages. You know, getting more enchanting, which would be like, uh, armor improvement, I suppose. Another elemental assault. And unfortunately in this one, I don't have crimson to be able to help. So the elementals are going to be coming through. Oh, I don't have a propped open door. Um, Solden, prop open this southern one. Uh, the other thing I probably should do is have mana potions being kept in inventory. Come on, where's my sentinel? Takes a second to cast. Uh, do minions get inside? In fact, everyone stay inside. Solden is. You know, actually, I'll close this. Well, hmm. no, I don't think the door matters. So I'll, I'll just keep this door open for now. A single lesser fire elemental is not a big deal. So this rift is already partially destroyed, and I'm going to try to just focus on it. 
I'm gonna get closer with shield, and then maybe even closer with Tal. The other thing with Tal is, I think I'm gonna have Tal. I don't. Yeah, okay. I don't have any um, taken mana potions recently, so I'm gonna get closer with Tal. Uh, I'm gonna have Tal take a mana potion and summon some elementals to help out. So there's a greater sentinel just like waiting here. Granted, it's a little damaged. Can I repair it? I wonder if you can just repair it. That'd be really weird. Fire at it? No. Okay. Oh, have a meal. That's fine. All right, it's down to about half life. Minions are attacking the elementals. Tal's got more mana. He's going to come join the fight. And shield has a bunch of stone skin charges, which will keep him protected. Plus the, um, the defense pylon is just like rocking everything that comes out. This is actually not too difficult. So there is one loose elemental, and I'm going to double back for it to make sure that Sol doesn't doesn't lose yet another limb to it. Portal's collapsing. I feel like I backed up just in time. So we have a minor arcane gem of holding, which is carry weight, um, and more conservations for mana. Nice, not bad. That one was fairly straightforward. The stone, stone skin charges seem to last forever. Yeah, I'm not really sure how they... I think they're, they're, they're channeled so that it um, costs mana upkeep. To, to hold those charges until they're dispelled. So they last forever, but they, they don't cost nothing, in other words. Uh, this bed, uninstalled so that Bowen has his own room. That will help with conversions. And now, let's try to get this, whoops. Try to get this smoothed out so that the conversion rituals have the highest rate of conversion possible. Now, I, I'm definitely not going to have the necessary attendance uh, for good conversion rituals, but we'll do our best. More visitors. All right, he's fully healed, so I'm going to attempt the right leg peg leg. And then after Crimson has recovered from that, I will attempt the lung transplant as well. Work drive will be off cooldown in two hours. And that will help S.H.I.E.L.D. finish up that project. Oh, uh, not in there. Oh, there we go. Impressiveness, negative 154. But he's very happy with that. No? Wait, you're... Wait, wait. 
You like an oppressive hospital, but you do not like an oppressive bedroom? Man. This mod makes no sense at times. So Crimson now has the leg. And I'm going to kick Crimson out so that the hospital bed is freed up for Sildan. Sildan's getting a lung back. So for those that don't remember, uh, we took Sildan's lung on purpose because um, he rebelled and Crimson needed one. So now Sildan's getting the lung back. Anything over 125 is impressive enough um, for the purpose of um, conversion rituals. So once Crimson and, and Sildan are on their feet so that they can attend the ritual, I'll trigger it for Bowen to try to get Bowen to join. But man, this certainty is not moving much at all. Probably because we're starving you. Is that it? Actually, we're starving everyone. Um, losing my hunter to uh, hunting accidents makes this a little bit more annoying, doesn't it? Hey, everyone's on their feet. So let's try it. Uh, I think it's going to backfire, but who knows? Do our best. Crimson's also over his um, drug addiction, which is great. That's going to be really good for his mood. You guys want me to invest something in the magic tree for next, so I'm going to work on uh, enchanting. And then you guys can vote for the next major project. Alright, it was ineffective. And now he's 100% certain. Okay. Pass failed completely. Well, at least the attempt was made, be it a bit in vain. One thing I should probably do is to check the visitors for trade goods. These guys are just passing through, so there's not an opportunity there, but I did pass up on the opportunity before. And I'm also trying to just get um, nicer bedrooms. Or beds, rather. See if, if I can't get lucky with um, S.H.I.E.L.D. making some excellent beds. And then swapping them out for the ones we have. Okay, all those are excellent. Perfect.
Well, that's right. Bowen will join us um, sometime in the fourth age. That seems to be the current pace of progress here. Everyone has uh, excellent cloth beds, so they spend more time working. The ritual room is almost done, and it looks like you guys are going to want a magical workshop next. Hopefully magical equipment will keep us from losing limbs. As that's been a thing. So a magic workshop should probably be attached to the... Uh, regular sort of workshop. <clears throat> so I'll put it, um, I'll put it over here. It doesn't need to be that large as it, as this is just for like constructing magical things and a single door in and out. Sounds about right uh, to limit access for uh, slaves. And the really important thing to put in there is going to be the Arcane Forge. So we're going to want to amass um, uranium. So I think I found... Yeah, there's uranium up here. Uh, I'm going to wait to mine that because I think I want to... Well, I'll just deprioritize it. I, I don't want my less than capable miners mining up the uranium. There is also, um, hmm. there are some tools that might be better, but I think they require schematics for like, uh, to improve mining speed. But some of these weapons like, uh, let's see if I can't find an example. Some of these I feel like have work speed, especially the axes for cutting down trees. Woodcutter axes are harvest and plant work. If I'm not mistaken, one of these is uh, good for mining. Pickaxe? Mining speed. But it's just mining speed, it's not yield, so it doesn't really matter. What about the military pick? Also mining speed, but not yield. Okay, so there's no way to improve yield through tools, so I'll just mine it now. Or whenever shield is not working on what he's doing. Now, there's not a good reason not to be re-sewing stuff. Uh, so I, I've been cranking out the Lembus. And we'll continue doing the Lembus flower and elf bread in order to keep us fed. So I'll re-sew that. I have limited the other stuff that I'm planting uh, just because we have so much spoilage. But until I can, until I have need of like high volumes of stuff, I, I just don't want to bother. And I don't think there's really anything else we want to put in just yet. Yeah. I mean, we could start working on Tinctoria, I guess. Um, but the issue is with um, Crimson missing an arm, his manipulation uh, skills are, are relatively low. And as a result, 
he'll do a lot of harvest fails and failing constantly failing to harvest is going to be a bit of a problem when it comes to trying to um to maximize yield so I, I think it's probably best that he doesn't spend so much time farming i did mention wanting to get heel root yeah that, that's not a bad idea i'll put us i'll put a strip of heel root in here one of the advantages here is it doesn't um, doesn't die off from the winter, but we don't have Devil Strand research yet. That would probably be the only thing I was would be really interested in getting. But with the availability of like dare leather. Um, Devil Strand, Dare Leather, and, and other like high protection value leathers, uh, Devil Strand isn't as attractive as a choice as um, it otherwise would be. In Vanilla Rimworld, you know, Devil Strand is pretty amazing, but with all the modded resources we have here, it, it doesn't hold the same sort of... Um, peak protection. So we have the steel, we have the jade, We'll just need the... And I could probably do granite one. So we just need the uranium. Um, for the magic workshop. For the arcane forge. The good news is it seems like everyone's fairly happy in the community. Apart from our, uh... Oh my god. How do we even... How are we gonna convert you? I don't even know. Get... I think we need to torture you for you to, like, give up your beliefs. I think I'm going about it the wrong way. Instead of... Instead of treating you well, we need to, like, treat you horribly. For you to abandon your beliefs. To have some sort of, like... Critical fail. I'll cross that bridge later. I'm surprised that the bug about room names has never um, been addressed where it flips between your ideological name for the room and then the default of temple. Ramathep, thank you for the raid. As that has always been an issue ever since ideology came out, like eons ago, and as far as I can tell has never been uh, addressed, which I find hilarious. As good as Zell is dead. I was going to say it's too stupid to realize that there was an open door right there. Is this pathable? Yeah, it is. Okay. And Gondor is attacking. So let's see who we have. No heroes yet. Uh, what are you, a paladin? Bladesman. Okay, so that's a person of note to be watchful of. 
as bladesmen are capable of a good amount of violence. Uh, we also have a psionic, which, if I am not incorrect, I think that's not even supposed to be part of the mod loadout. Uh, let me do a little bit of research here. No, maybe it was not disabled. Well, let me check. So here's the class options. No, psionics were allowed. Okay. So psionic in the south and a bladesman up north. Now, the, the big risk here is uh, Crimson cannot move fast. Right? He's... <clears throat> He's a bit disabled in that regard. So animals stay... Oh, one of the um, sentinels that was left up there, it's dead now, but it, it got activated. So these guys are preparing a while, and I'm deciding to rally north and to try to take these out. So they don't have bows, as far as I can tell, which is going to make it a little bit easier on me. I can fire on them and they can't really fire back except for Val here, but Val is um, somehow holding a shield and a bow at the same time. I don't really get that because it's not allowed in the mod, but this is what I keep repeating is like, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings and uh, Rim World of Magic has bugs. Just gotta roll with them. Oh, Crimson's mad. And, well, that manipulation uh, penalties don't seem to be a problem. Uh, so we do have Tamara Barr, who could be a slave. And then we have Nick here, who could be also a slave. But uh, I am, I think, going to make the conscious choice of not trying to enslave anyone until the battle's really over, even if it would benefit me, because it, um, it's it's risky to do that. So do I still have? Yeah, I still ha I still have stone skin charges. I'm going to do a double jump here, trying to uh, to to ambush the rest of the North group, meaning that you guys can depart for the south because these southern folks are coming our way through this eastern gate hello yeah I'm fighting you here splat alright Jack just a pyromaniac Flat. All right, Mr. Tell. So if you and Thomas set up a bit of a sentinel uh, defense pylon trap, um, because I want the enemies to path in front of the shooting area, I will set the defensive stuff here so that they pass the path in front and become easier to shoot. So we have a granite sentinel out that way. I think Tal leveled up as well. And then if I want to just like bomb them with uh, elementals, I can. I have the mana capacity for it. So shield, on your way back down, let's have you close this gate and Tal, you open this one. I want to lure them to this area and kill them here. The entire North group is gone. Uh, the other thing I could do is try to have Sillidan um, capture tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make the uh, executive choice, let's call it, to do that. <clears throat> because it's possible to start um, converting and then training people to become... Oh, she got up. Well, Sildan will punch her. Uh, converting and then training them to, to fight. All 
I don't think Solon's gonna make it in time. She'll probably pass out from blood loss, but there's a chance. All right, Shield, you got that eastern door? No, you didn't. All right, here comes the southern attack party, and the one I have to avoid is the psionic, so that I don't get, like, blasted. So I'll be aiming specifically for the psionic, I think. The Sonic is down, but not dead, but like pretty riddle full of holes to the point where they're probably not going to make for a, a convincing convert. These guys fell exactly for my trap, which works perfectly. So there's Helene, missing a leg, lazy night owl. Nah, that's not very enticing. Great memory, la Ugh, another lazy. What is with you all being lazy and losing limbs? Another limb loss? I've just ripped off everyone's limbs. Goodman. Gourmand, Misandris. Wow, you. No, I feel like Gondor is sending me the worst of their worst. They're sending me their dregs. Uh, and it's insulting. I don't want your dregs. So she collapsed. So there's a, a small chance that we'll actually be able to turn tomorrow. Um, and have her join. I, I do think that bolstering our numbers is probably uh, of paramount importance. So I'm going to make an effort. We we probably at some point need to have like a dedicated uh, prison facility because I don't have that yet. And doing like building it piecemeal and having it be temporary is like weird at some point, but we'll get that going. So Tal is heading up north to try to tend for Tamara. And what I want to do is I want to stop her from like bleeding out. But having her have a, a extreme blood loss is actually to my benefit because that means that she won't regain consciousness and try to uh, escape. So initially she'll be housed in here and then we'll move her to the, the prison. Uh, there is a lot of steel out here. I'm going to regret this, probably. These guys are wearing, like, a lot of stuff. So maybe... Maybe I'll only strip the ones that, like, have mostly steel on. So that I don't lose my mind. Plasteel? I don't think plasteel is supposed to exist. Um... Wow, they have some, like, insanely strong gear. It's ridiculous. I could strip you. You're you're alive. But I don't really want to. I'm just going to leave their bodies alone. I'll take the Gondorian steel blades and melt those down. And maybe the silver shield. I'm going to be picky about what I pull from enemies. So that we don't add a, a, a crazy amount of labor. Because that's like another thing to consider is like if we keep stripping everyone and we end up with just so much backlog of labor tasks. So you are going to be converted. Because she doesn't have any magical, magical talents, she can only be enslaved. But as a little reminder, once again, um, it's possible to craft up gems of arcane or physical insight in order for them to be uh, eligible for full-fledged membership. So just because they don't have magical talents now doesn't mean that is the case forever. Yeah, if you're wondering why I left people out here, it's because they were, like, missing critical body parts. Legs and arms and the like. And most of them would only be eligible to be slaves, and I don't need a slave without an arm. That's not gonna add a lot of... Because I, th I think it's important for, for people to remember 
that when you have a high slave to regular population ratio, you encourage grand slave rebellions. And grand slave rebellions can be really destructive and annoying where you end up killing a whole lot of your slaves. So I think it's way better for us, our slaves to be very capable, able bodied with good traits so that they could potentially become full fledged members rather than have a bunch of like drag slaves that are worthless that we have to constantly kill because of grand slave rebellions. So I'm trying to avoid grand slave rebellions as a result. by maximizing suppression and trying to keep um, our slaves away from things. At some point, once we have more slaves, it might make sense to have like, uh, like I was saying before, like wood closets to absolutely minimize the, um, the rebellion mechanics, which is ridiculous that like wood encourages them to rebel. Come on, Sylvan. You ever want to become one of us? You got to be able to... Oh, you got bit by a minion to death. Well, at least I'll have a prison cell for future. But yeah, that happened. Um, gimmick cages are, so talking about suppression, um, slave suppression fall rates is almost entirely dependent upon relevant gear of a slave collar and a slave body strap. If they're wearing a slave collar and a slave body strap, you lose 20% suppression, um, by default, but the body strap plus the collar gives you 30%. So it's a, once you're fully suppressed, you never lose it. Um, things like terra sculptures and uh, gibbet cages lowers the suppression fall rate, but never to zero. So it's far better for your slaves to just wear a collar and a body strap and then to never need suppression, in my opinion. The only reason to not do that is if you had a slave legion that were combatants. Because as soon as they're starting to wear armor, then they will lose suppression per day. And the way for them to not lose suppression per day is to sacrifice uh, to, to publicly execute or to have gibbet cages, uh, skull spikes, you know, um, symbols of terror. Uh, but that's <clears throat> typically not the route I'd go. Just because it's uh, it uh, it it's not 100 percent effective. So the temple is just about, a, yep, it's fully smooth, perfect. So now we're just trying to get the slate needed to finish off the workshop and then do the forge going. My luck with trying to add members is uh, it's pretty hilarious. They all just die. So we have this spare room for prisoners at some point. And we'll just keep it, we'll keep it heated. We'll keep it lit, it's fine. Enchanting is done. Uh, I'll go into, actually, have you guys vote. I'll research arcane fundamentals as we wait. But have you pick the specific type of research. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 28th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that the details about this series are already provided in the description. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. 
If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com, or the description of this video have a link to it. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Corsairs.